The sound is very, very quiet. I'm on eco mode. So as I'm driving and I'm using the brakes, so I'm gonna gas it up. It's staying in eco mode. It's using very little energy. As I brake, it's charging. So the EV is self-charging as I brake. This is um, very nice. Okay, so I'm currently parked right now. Um, let's get a more in-depth of the interior of the uh, 2023 hybrid Highlander. Um, I really love the speaker system. It's a JBL. They've got speakers here on the side, on the dash there. Speakers above, on the back. Yeah, well, this, the sound system here is, is really, really good. So I've been driving for a week now, and if you notice, the uh, total average here says 8.8 .8 liters per 100 kilometers. Um, when I first picked up the vehicle, I drove it off the lot, it was uh, saying 17.5 liters per 100 kilometers. So as I drove it, uh, the the uh, data that it's uh, taken uh, of how I drive, I, I stay to eco mode, um, and it's lowered down to 8.8 .8 liters per 100 kilometers. So, the miles per hour, uh, the gas, uh, when it was a full tank, it was 675 kilometers. And the trip I've taken so far is 327 kilometers. Now, if you add up 327 and 423, that's about 750 uh, kilometers driven. So, meaning, uh, yeah, so as you drive more with the vehicle, it will tell you uh, how well you're driving and how much uh, gas you'll be using per 100 kilometers. So if this was a 60 liter tank um, and I'm doing 8.8 .8 .8 liters per 100 kilometers, then technically it should get me 750 kilometers. Over here, the Android Auto, uh, which is really, really nice. So I'm on Bluetooth right now and um, the volume is actually kind of far. So, see, so I have to lean over to reach that, but good thing there's the volume button on the uh, steering wheel. Let's press this button right here. Let's see what happens. I don't know what that does. So, when I press right, it starts telling me things like my eco st score, start, cruise, stop right again it's giving me the tire pressure the PSI of all four tires right again it goes back so there's only three yeah so the uh, misconception I thought I had when I bought this vehicle and I did my research was um, the EV the battery uh, built into this hybrid only uh, can be charged if you're braking so that's where um, I thought, okay, if you're driving in the city, you would get more mileage instead of driving uh, on the highway, but uh, I'm wrong. As you're driving on the highway, technically you're using gas and it's, it's rolling with momentum, so you're using actually less gas uh, on the highway. But the EV is still charging as you're on the highway because there's going to be uh, areas where you slow down a little bit and it's, it's, yeah, when I'm driving on the highway, this needle here, it's staying around eco and sometimes charged. So it's, it's going back and forth. So it's actually charging as I'm on the highway. Um, yeah, you don't have to hit the brakes for the charging to work. All right, so the beauty of these ventilated seats is um, when it was raining, I just turned this on. Both seats have it. The back seats have it too, uh, heated and ventilated um, so when it was raining outside my jackets all wet I sit on the, the chair of course over time if you keep doing that it's gonna ruin the, the leather of the seats so when you turn this on it actually dried up my jacket uh, within two to three minutes so I can actually feel the cool air going up my back right now it's quite nice and in the summer when it's really really hot and you're sweating this is a beautiful feature so yeah and there's 
the heated seats right here. This is the ventilated seats. It's one or the other, right? Um, of course, that's the wipers for the back. Heated side view mirrors and rear view mirror or the rear windshield. I mean, they have lots of function here. So I like this. I, I'm old school. Fan on. So when I turn on the fan, you can hear the engine rumble. So it's actually using gas now. So why don't I just turn the fan off? See, the engine just turned off. Yeah, so here's the rear climate for the climate control. This is for the um, auto, how the air blows. Those vents here are nice and big. I like that. There's two here, one on each side. Uh, the storage, again, I love I love the storage. I, all this, this is the wireless charger here. Love the storage underneath here. Lots of charging plugs for multiple phones right there's a USB there and there's the no one smokes in the car anymore so yeah and down here more more charging and the 120 volt adapter for your uh, laptop or whatnot it's awesome so the, so the second uh, climate control for the rear seats heated seats, temperature control and fan. Here you got your, actually I'm gonna turn off the engine, so I'm gonna press the power, see what it says. Trip distance, 0.8 kilometers, trip time, 12 seconds. Trip average, 8.9 liters per 100 kilometers. All right, so I turn it off, it's in e-brake mode automatically when I park it so I don't have to muck around with the e-brake with my foot and then release it and I, I would forget. Sometimes on the old vehicles I would forget to release the e-brake and I'm driving. I'm like, why Why is it tugging? It's not driving smoothly for like a few minutes and I realize, oh, the e-brake's on. So that's not good for the vehicle, right? Um, I like it on eco mode. I was recommended by the dealership to drive on eco mode. Um, I thought it would tug because my old vehicle, the MDX, what when I put on eco mode and I'm driving the city, uh, it kind of has this little tug uh, on the gas when I'm, I'm I'm hitting the gas pedal. But for the Highlander, it's not. It's, it's actually quite quite smooth. Um, normal mode driving. That's what I was driving uh, with my old 2018 MDX. Uh, sport mode, I don't care for that so EV mode here you can actually drive all-time EV mode especially when you're in an, an underground parking lot and you don't want the fumes uh, coming out but you have to be driving 20 kilometers or under for this to happen and uh, if I press that sometimes if the, the EV uh, the electric battery is low it will tell me not enough battery so it will not go to full EV mode Okay, so trails when you're you're out and about in the mountains and you want to go off trail. Uh, I don't know what this is. Oh well, and that is for anti-slip when you're driving. Yeah, let's uh, turn on the vehicle again. I have to step on the brakes. Press it. So again, got to get used to this because it doesn't have this engine sound. And uh, one time when I parked the vehicle, I got out. And I try to arm the vehicle, it wouldn't arm. And I'm like, why, why wouldn't it arm? And then I remember, okay, I didn't turn off the engine because it's so quiet. I thought the engine was already off. So that is something I have to get used to. Um, here, you can see the map is actually really, really good. Um, yes, the map is much better because the screen is 12 inch screen. And then here is. Android Auto where I'm connecting my phone to Bluetooth it actually split screen a smaller one is for your um, music Spotify which I love and then you can switch you can change your station or change your music see it goes to the next one press again that's nice and then the mode to switch back and forth to FM radio yeah. there's Sirius XM the heat 
yeah so let's just get out of that all right um what else oh yes the rear view mirror is digital let's press the button and see what happens so off on yeah i'll learn how to use that but that's kind of neat that is standard you can see the back seats here sunglass holder and uh yeah let's look at the it's actually quite nice Kits like this. Good. So there you have it. And then you got your side folding mirrors. I like this. Some areas uh, I go parking underground for grocery shopping or the mall. Yeah, people are so close. I just can close that. And if you're backing up and there's a pole, you should be closing it and then backing up so that way you have more space. But yeah, that's a nice feature. Very standard stuff here. Window lock, power lock, seat control, adjustment. Then you got your auto high beam, AC plug, lift gate, heated steering wheel. You can reset your trip odometer right here and you can light brighten and lighten the dash so far I, I really enjoy this hybrid waited a year and a half almost 18 months and um, and yeah hair is kind of crazy but uh, so far so good I would pick this hybrid over EV any day apparently the EVs uh, uh, insurance is much much higher I talked to the insurance guy when I bought this hybrid uh, it's already like 15% higher than my 2018 MDX. So the 2018 MDX, I was paying $1,800 a year for insurance, but the hybrid, uh, it was 2,100. And my question was, why? That doesn't make sense. It's a, it's a new vehicle. Um, it's got better security. No one's gonna break into it as easy as the older vehicles, but he's saying, oh, it's because of all the extra electrical components and the parts. Uh, more the more there is the more expensive it is to fix and repair so therefore um, the insurance premium is much higher and if you had a full EV I don't I didn't know this it's even more expensive it was like 30 or 40 percent more because the EVs got the big battery where it's very expensive so to replace the, the battery would be like 15 to twenty thousand uh, dollars for for parts and labor so if you get in an accident and the battery is damaged there's a good chance um, the value of the repair if it's 60 to 70 percent uh, of the vehicle value at that current moment you're gonna be getting the car written off so uh, a lot of EVs are being written off because of the, the damage uh, to the batteries so I don't care for EVs I thought I wanted it. I had put a deposit down for a Honda Ionic 5 uh, the same time I put a deposit down for this Toyota Highlander and the Onyx 5 has still been delayed 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 and I realized you know what keep this uh, Highlander and and cancel the uh, deposit for uh, the Ionic 5 they gave me my $500 back uh, I read a lot uh, EVs don't have the infrastructure to uh, have enough charging stations so therefore I could care less uh, too many people fighting over charging stations and sometimes they get to a destination it doesn't charge and they, they come back after 30 minutes like, why is it not charged it's kind of silly uh, for those that don't have uh, have a garage where you can plug it in at home it's pointless living in uh, the city um, yeah it's kind of tough and I would not take an EV for long distance driving I'm not 
Thank you for watching. Uh, if you could like and subscribe, uh, it would be great. It would help me a lot. And um, hope to see you next time. Thanks.